Hey everyone, here's our math problem for today. If this nested radical square root of 5 minus square root of 21 equals square root of a minus square root of b, where a is greater than b and b is greater than 0, what are the values of a and b? So in this problem, we want to transform this nested radical into an expression without nested radicals. How are we going to solve this problem? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this problem. Now, to solve this problem, let's begin with what is given. So let's remove this first. Let's start with this expression here. In order to eliminate the radicals, let's begin by squaring both sides of this equation. So square both sides. By doing so, we'll eliminate this radical here. So what we have is 5 minus square root of 21 equals the square of this binomial. So the square of the first term is a minus twice the product of the first and the second term. So minus 2 times square root of a times square root of b, which is the same as minus 2 times the square root of a b plus the square root of the second term, which is B. Now the form here is 5 minus something that is in the square root symbol. So it's better to combine A and B and rewrite this middle term so that we have the form that is similar to square root of 21. So let's combine A and B minus, let's put this 2 inside the radical symbol to get 4, then copy AB. Because the square root of 4 is just this 2, the minus sign is here. Then we copy 5 minus square root of 21. Now, notice that this 5 would be this a plus b, and this minus square root of 21 would be this minus square root of 4ab. So we now say that this a plus b is now equal to 5, and this negative square root of 4ab is this negative square root of 21. I just wrote the variables at the left side. This implies that 4ab is equal to 21. So 4ab is equal to 21 and a plus b is equal to 5. So we have two equations in two unknowns. We'll be able to find the value of a and b. Now to be able to find the values of a and b here, let's recall an identity. If we have a minus b raised to the second, this is just the same as the quantity a plus b raised to the second minus 4ab. The reason is, if we expand this, this is just the same as a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, then copy minus 4ab. Notice that plus 2ab minus 4ab will give us minus 2ab, and we copy the a squared plus the b squared, which is exactly the square of this binomial a minus b. Since we know that a plus b is equal to 5, then this part here is equal to 5 squared. And since we know that 4ab equals 21, then this part here is minus 21. And this one is equal to the quantity a minus b squared. These are constants which we can simplify. So we now have here 25 minus 21, which is equal to 4, and that is equal to the square of a minus b. So we take the square root of both sides, take the square root of this, plus or minus the square root of 4. And this gives us a minus b is equal to plus or minus 2. But notice that at the start, we said that a is greater than b, greater than 0. So that means we cannot take the minus 2. Because a is greater than b, then their difference would be positive. So we take a minus b must be positive 2. And previously, we said that a plus b is equal to 5. So we have a plus b equals 5. And we also computed that a minus b is equal to 2. So solving these two equations simultaneously now, let's do that at the bottom. We have a minus b equals 2 and a plus b equals 5. This means that 2a equals 2 plus 5, which is 7, or a equals 7 halves. Then subtracting this system of equations, negative b minus b is negative 2b equals 2 minus 5, which is negative 3, or b is equal to positive 3 halves. So we now have the values of a and b to be 7 halves and 3 halves, respectively. So going back now to our question, we want to find the value of this a and this b, and we already computed that a is equal to 7 halves and b is equal to 3 halves. We already found the values of a and b, and so we are done.